What's up guys, it's me, I'm back again with another video, and as you guys can tell, it's another Borderlands 3 video, so we're gonna jump right into it. I uh, don't want to keep you guys that long, try to make this quick, uh, but uh, the first thing that you guys want to do to actually get the most XP out of this is you want to make your game in offline mode. However you do that on PC, you would go to the internet and just disconnect it. On Xbox, you obviously go into the settings and hit go offline, and PS4, I'm pretty sure you do something to the equivalent of that, you go into the settings and you switch it to offline. But uh, as you can tell, uh, you just you just want to go offline and once you're offline then actually what happens is you get double the XP practically because uh, the patches that had been added to the game that like nerfed the XP and nerfed uh, the legendary drops and everything and the money and stuff uh, they haven't been added to the game in offline so uh, after you make it offline sometimes it'll say if you're not the home Xbox it'll say uh, that you have to be the home Xbox owner to actually play the game what you want to do is hit cancel on that and just keep starting up the game and eventually the loading screen will stick and you'll just load up into the game uh, and that's the first part of this glitch uh, I wouldn't really call it it's kind of a glitch because uh, you have to do this and uh, this is glitching because you should not be able to do this uh, they just haven't updated the patches so obviously you're going to be getting the double XP uh, and I will be explaining the best way to go at the guardian rank and the best way to get the most guardian rank obviously uh since you clicked on the video that you know you know what's up but uh after you get it going after you this is the uh part on the loading screen that you know if the game is actually going to start sometimes it'll make it past the first few parts and uh send you back so once you get to this part then you know you're good because it's actually loading up the game so yeah, let's head to the next part So after you guys are actually in offline mode, the second thing you want to do, the probably the most important part to this glitch is uh, you want to make sure you enter, are in Mayhem 3. So if you cannot handle Mayhem 3, obviously you can turn it down to 2 and 1. Uh, for, I show you the path from spawn up to here, and I show you the differences between Mayhem 3, Mayhem 2, and Mayhem 1. So when I show you these, you can choose what difficulty you want to go on. Obviously the armor is increased, but the XP gain, Iridium, Cash, and uh, the loot quantity drops uh, are increased and stuff so obviously it's worth going up the higher ranks and uh, yeah so just do whatever one you can handle but three is what's going to give you the XP numbers that I have in this video alrighty so if you guys watched my last video on how to level up the fastest it this grenade is going to help you a lot obviously you want to get it in mayhem 3 true vault hunter mode if you can level 50 but uh, in the gameplay I get it to level 26 but you, you're meant to get it at like a higher level get it in true vault hunter mode and make sure it is level 50 so it does the most damage to these bosses so this will help you out a bunch if you do not have a solid build and e even if like you have a solid build but you need a little help killing grave ward or you need a little help like through the rest of the game this grenade is really broken right now so you guys really need to go pick it up obviously you get it from the quest uh, that I show in the video and uh, yeah I, I show you the grenade right now and uh, as you can see uh, it's just like a little grenade obviously I have a 26 go get it at 50 it's pretty broken and it'll help you out with the rest of the video this is not uh, required or mandatory for this it's just to help you out if you don't have the good as build as me but if you do want to build video then go ahead and leave that in the comments and I'll hook you guys up alrighty so after you have all the prerequisites set up that being the offline mode maybe having your grenade if you want that and being in mayhem 3 2 or 1 uh, obviously you had to complete the story to get into the mayhem levels if you guys didn't know that so if you watch this far thanks for watching this far but go ahead and go ahead and complete the game before you start watching the rest of this so as you guys can see I am rank 146 in the guardian rank and uh, yeah that's pretty good because the max is 255 and uh, obviously I have 24 skill points uh, I go ahead and click through all 24 of them just to show you the different stats that you can go ahead and increase uh, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the guardian ranks and the different things uh, that that you want to go for and you want to look out for so obviously there is the enforcer survivor and hunter and as you can see from the look of mine I really wanted the enforcer ones because uh, the, the just the different stuff like the carry-on damage after the last bullet uh, and 
everything in the enforcer column was just amazing for my flak build so if you guys want a dps build i would definitely recommend the enforcer if you guys are a medic or you guys go down a lot and you guys play with play people that are higher than you the su survivor uh little skill tree would probably be better for you because uh when you when you do that if you get revived i know one of the skills is you come back with full health and that's really helpful and yeah there's just different things that helps you survive with survivability and obviously the hunter is for luck and bullets and uh, it, it's really good as well so obviously i expect for the enforcer and the hunter and i really promote you guys to do the same as you guys are doing this you guys want the most damage and luck because uh, this is also a great legendary farm so let's go ahead and get into the xp how to level up this quickly so to answer everybody's questions before we actually started with the killing uh, i showed you guys all my guardian ranks and what i put it into so i can, that kind of tells you about the damages and stuff that i do but i wanted to tell you uh the stuff in my inventory that i'm using so people don't have to ask and i don't have to reply to as many comments obviously i'm using the king's call which is practically the queen's call just vice versa just different elementals so i'm using the king's call i'm using the a random shield it doesn't really matter uh i didn't really touch on that much because it doesn't really matter obviously i'm using the pipe bomb and then i go ahead and show you this the loaded dice is the relic i use and it takes away some health to give you plus i think it just says greatly increases luck uh which which is really good if you are using this for a legendary farm as well. So if you're trying to level up your guardian rank and get legendaries at the same time, you definitely want to have that loaded dice set up. Uh, so obviously the boss fight ensues just like the normal boss fight. You guys know how it works. You guys want to slide up the thing. Uh, you guys wait for the green orbs to pass by and then just hit them in the chest with everything that you've got. As you can see, I am on Mayhem 3 uh, and I pretty much shred this guy. He's, <laughs> he's pretty lightweight compared to what I can do. Uh, I, I think it's funny how fast I shred him, so I'm pretty sure I hit the laughy mode on him, but, uh, yeah, or the wave, my bad, but, uh, as you can see, I got two legendaries this time, I averaged to two to three to upwards to five legendaries per time that I do this, uh, sometimes I don't have enough inventory space to pick them up, so I just leave them on the ground, because, one, I already have them, and, Plus, you will be seeing these a lot if you sit here and farm this. Uh, so, you saw that my rank was pretty high up in the numbers, 150 around when you saw it. Uh, when you actually do this, I only spent maybe an hour to get that high. And it took me about two hours to get higher than that. Uh, you can practically sit down and just grind this and you will be able to get done with all of your guardian rank in maybe one sitting it's all quite simple to do it's really easy and if you sit down and you use the method that i do and use everything that i do you can get some pretty good stuff out of it as well so in the background here it's going to be a little bit sped up because obviously uh it's just me going back through and killing grave ward uh I just wanted to show you guys the XP gains. Uh, I didn't even touch on it the first time I killed them. It was so quick. But uh, like I said, you obviously want to uh, slide up here, jump between this rectangle right here, right in front of you, uh, run past the green, and then again, just hit him right in the crit. Uh, I'm pretty sure one of these times uh, I die, but I come back in and I tell I what I want to say about that is when you die, when you drop back down, I find it supremely easier to kill him. I don't know why, but uh, here we are. We're about to kill him again, and like I said, like the thumbnail says, 242,000 XP for doing this, and it is really insane. Just uh, the XP that you get for this, so. Yeah, like I said, you get legendaries, XP, money, iridium, everything for doing this. Uh, it's really good, and uh, it's quick as well. You don't, uh, uh, you don't really need much, and as you guys can see, uh, you level up extremely fast. And uh, I will slow it down near the end after I get the uh, the kills and the XP and stuff, and uh, I'll show you guys the part where I only killed him three times. It took maybe five minutes to kill him three times and i actually already had leveled up to 151 and gotten five more tokens and was able to max out my hunter column so just imagine me being able to do it three times that quickly and get that many levels is insane just sitting here for hours at a time you'll be able to do the exact same thing and level up extremely quickly 
so yeah uh if you guys want to see any more videos on borderlands 3 go ahead and drop that in the comments if you guys want to see my build i can also show that off uh, i really enjoy making build videos and i love playing this game uh so if you guys want to see anything just drop it in the comments and i'll probably do a video on it so i hope this helped you out and i hope you guys like comment subscribe share with your friends turn on post notifications so you see when i upload and i will see you guys in the next one peace